news, Nigerians, Nigerian police operatives, raid residential estate in Port Harcourt, arrest 10 alleged IPOB members. According to the CP, the arrests were made when officers raided their hideout based on credible in intelligence. Hmm. These have got Nigerians talking on. So these people, when they go arrest, so waiting be their crime. Their crime is just they are IPOB agitators. Do they catch them with arms? Or what actually happened? Nigerians are asking. Well, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But if you are just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerian police operatives raid presidential estate in Port Harcourt arrest 10 alleged IPOB members. According to the CP, the arrests were made when officers raided their hideout based on credible intelligence. Operatives of the Nigerian police force have arrested 10 alleged members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and seven fake members of the civilian joint task force in River State. This was made known by the State Commissioner of Police, Okon Efong, while briefing newsmen in Port Harcourt on Friday. According to the CP, the arrests were made when officers raided their hideouts based on credible intelligence. He claimed that the suspected IPOB members were apprehended in Oyibo on the outskirts of Port Harcourt and that the arms bearing fake civilian JT. F members were apprehended in Omoku and uh, Amok, I beg your pardon, Ahoda, both in River State. He said on December 23rd, 2022, they said they received information that some IPOB members had started relocating to River State and they had to work on that intelligence and they discovered that they stayed in an estate in Oyibo. The building they stayed in the estate was raided and 10 of them were arrested. Interestingly, four of them arrested were identified as the key players in the burning down of the Oyibo police station during the Ensas riot. And one of them has been on the wanted list of the police since February this year. Continuing, he said, we were still working on them and as we receive information, we shall act on it immediately. The CP Funk revealed that the phony civilian JTF had gone to the Northeast for weapons training before coming to Rivers to recruit members when they were apprehended. He said, we just have to be very careful and sensitive and sensitive. Information was received that a group of persons were training in arms handling. And we discovered that the people had gone for the so-called training in the Northeast and had come down to Port Harcourt to recruit people. And they said they were civilian JTF. When their camp was searched, eventually about four locally made AK-47 rifles were recovered with some ammunition. The integrating thing is that we recovered many camouflage uniforms. If anybody saw them, they would think they are policemen in the course of our investigation. We discovered that they had already opened up cells in Ahuda and Amok. We have gone to Amok, we have raided those cells, and we have arrested seven of them. Why assuring that the the command would keep the state safe for criminal elements. Airfunk asks for the public's help in providing relevant information that would aid in the arrest of suspects. Hmm. So my people, and I don't hear this one now. Hmm. Operatives of the Nigerian police force have arrested 10 alleged members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP and seven fake members of the Civilian Joint Tax Force in River State. This was made known by the State Commissioner of Police, Okon Efunk, while briefing newsmen in Port Harcourt on Friday. According to the CP, the arrests were made when officers raided their hideouts based on credible intelligence. 
He claimed that the suspected IPOB members were apprehended in Oyibo on the outskirts of Port Harcourt and that the arms bearing fake civilian uh, JTF members were apprehended in Amok and Ahoda, both in River State. He said on the December 23, 2022, that they received information that some IPOB members had started relocating to River State. He said they had to work on that intelligence and they discovered where they stayed in the estate in Oyibo. The building they stayed in the estate was raided and 10 of them were arrested. Intelli uh, interestingly, four of them arrested were identified as the key players in the burning down of the Oyibo police station during the ESAS riot. And one of them has been on the wanted list of the police since February this year. Continuing, he said, we are still working on them and as we receive information, we shall act on it immediately. The CPFO reviewed that the phony civilian JTF had gone to the Northeast for weapons training before coming to Rivers to recruit members when they were apprehended. He said, we just have to be very careful and sensitive and sensitive information was received that a group of persons were training in arms handling. And we discovered that the people had gone for the so-called training in Northeast and had come down to Port Harcourt to recruit people. And they said they were civilian uh, JTF. When their camp was searched, eventually about four locally made AK-47 rifles were recovered with some ammunition he said well you know say we we don't hear and see so many things when we say nigerian police go say this one are ipop esn members and all that they will arrest you and they will start dealing with you torturing you and then at the end of the day you will see their member that their family members say no this my person is not IPOP members or not unknown gunmen or ESN. Well, I don't want to say much about this. If Nigerian police are actually working the uh, working in the north the way they arrest IPOP agitators and all that, I believe by now, I don't think we should be talking about insecurity again in the north. This is so unfortunate. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.